This is Anthony from Granddaddy Herbs. Sorry it's been a while, but uh, besides that, let's get you a new video, guys. So today I'm going to show you guys just a couple updates on some of the females, uh, you know, just to see how they're progressing and whatnot. Because uh, there's been a lot of good changes here. Uh, not so much changes, it's just uh, a lot of good things happening with the animals. So uh, let's give you an update on a few of these guys. Peace. Alright guys, first thing I'm going to show you is um, the update on the pastel female that I picked up in my last big pickup. The one that I was debating whether or not I should sell or keep. But um, she's getting really big. When I, uh, when I got her, she was, I believe, um, like 280 grams, 275 grams, I believe. I can't really remember. But now she is... Uh, She's about 450 grams, so she's doing good. And the reason why I haven't sold her, I, I put her up a couple times, but then I decided to just to hold her back because I really like her. Um, she's a really clean pastel. Um, I'll show you her compared to my big female pastel really quickly. Okay, let's do that. Um, this girl, a um, uh, good update on her. Um, she went off food from November till I believe it was May, and at the end of that, she weighed only 490 grams after hitting 700 grams at one point. So she had lost a huge amount of weight. Um, but she's been eating for the last two months, two and a half months or so. Um, basically, since like June is when she really, really started eating. Um, she's doing good, so she's uh, at 850 grams now. So. Hopefully she, I can keep her going. Um, I'm gonna try to feed her uh, bigger medium rats. I've um, been kind of feeding her small size ones, but um, she actually looks really good on camera right now. Um, and I was trying to compare it to the other pastel. So let's let's actually get her next to this one so you can kind of compare differences. Before I put her down though, this is another reason why I kept her. Because I like the belly pattern on her a lot. She's got like all these little leopard prints. Um, no, it's not good to mix animals together, but, um, you know, just doing what I gotta do. So yeah, you can see the, the differences in the pastels. Of course, one's bigger. Um, and this camera's not really showing it too well, but I think the littler one is brighter. But I guess, you know, just cause she's younger, but I don't know. What I really like about the one I have is she's got a ton of blushings on her spine. So she's gonna do well for me. You know, um, when it comes to like super pastels, pastel and cheek combos, things like that. And this one here doesn't have any blushing at all. Like at all. There's not a single blush mark on her. Okay, maybe like one or two. I take that back. Okay, there's one. But she like has no blushing. But she has a really cool stomach pattern. And she has like these markings on her face that are like cheetah status. Kind of like a leopard. You can see that those wicked patterns but um, yeah so there's an update on her haven't showed her I don't think since I picked her up um, but one another thing I want to show you guys as an update is this little feisty uh, inchy male um, when I first picked him up he's really he puffing up right now but when I picked him up his spine was like really bad it had been he had been attacked by a mouse and it really messed him up bad. The camera actually makes him look a lot uglier. So he's looking good now. Can't really give you the best shot of his colors. There we go. That's doing all right. All right. Nice belly pattern. Overall nice and cheese. So I decided to hold him back. Um, but yeah, let's put him down. Well, there's a little update on him. He was 170 grams when I got him. Uh, he's right about 250 grams. Uh, he hasn't been eating that well for me. Uh, when I first got him, he was doing really good actually on food, but after that, he wasn't really doing so well. I would only get to eat, get him to eat one adult mice or mouse. Uh, I think one of my... I think one of my big female girls is taking a poop. But uh, I'm just show off this bright girl, do a little update. She skipped a week on food, so she's looking kind of thin, but 
you know, still looking good. I mean, this is an amazing animal. She's beautiful. I like showing the back end. But yeah, she's she's gorgeous. Look at her. But yeah, there's a little update on her. She's right at about 500 grams, give or take. Um, so she's doing good. What took so long to get her up to size was that she was a mouser. So she wasn't she wasn't eating well for me at first. You know, she'd eat two adult mice, but two adult mice versus one small rat. The one small rat's still bigger. And there's a lot more useful, um, I guess, uh, what, what you would call it, like just useful ingredients inside a rat versus a mouse that'll help them maintain weight. This is my feisty uh, adult female pinstripe. I should probably, should probably get in attack mode, you'll see here. She's the one that, she's bit me before. Um, she'll strike if you go in too quick. But the reason why I'm showing an update on her is because she went off food, or the last time she ate was 6-30-2013, and she finally ate for me on the 1st. So, she went off food for a little bit. When I first got her, the guy said she hadn't eaten in about a month, and then I got her to eat, like, the next day, and then she ended up eating two medium rats, and then she ate for another two weeks after that, and then stopped eating. Um, so... I was putting weight on her and then bam, she lost it all over again. So she's right at about 700 grams, 750 grams, I forgot, I think I weighed her um, yesterday. About 700 grams. So if I can get her to eat, she's definitely got the length on her to bulk up, so she would be ready to go. Um, if I can get her, look at, look at how feisty she is. Bam. So if, if I can get, you know, her eating, hopefully by like January, February I can breed her. But I know she's not going to be ready come November. But at least I'll be able to have enough time to cool her down, um, get her up to size. Another update, uh, just really quickly, not going to talk about this girl too much, but it's my female butter. She still hasn't eaten for me since I picked her up, and I know you guys seen that video months ago. She hasn't taken a single meal for me, but she drinks, she's healthy, she hasn't lost a lot of weight. She lost about 100 grams in that time, so she's doing good, but man, if I can get her to start eating, man, she'll definitely be ready to go by November. But uh, she just needs to go. She's right at about 1,100 grams. Damn woman needs to eat. Stop acting up. But yeah, guys, that's a simple little update. Um, actually, I got one more animal to show you before we leave. Um, that's who was pooping. God damn it. Just changed all of their tubs. Dang, look at the size of that thing. Ugh, damn. It stinks. Okay, well, I was going to show you this girl. I'll kind of show you her. Um, and pick her up. Damn, she stinks. Um, female Calico. She's doing really good. She's actually bigger than the female uh, Firefly. She passed her up. But she's got crazier flames than a yellow belly. Let me tell you. Uh, it's hard to show. Because I'm not touching that back end at all. She's got crazier flames than a yellow belly, I swear. She's doing good. She's uh, 500 grams also, but um, on an empty stomach, she weighs more than the Firefly. But yeah, guys, let me uh, let me end this so I can, you know, handle business all over again. Every time I put fresh water in and they drink it, they poop. So come tomorrow morning, uh, it's going to suck to be a snake keeper. But yeah, guys, uh, I'll show you the rest of the stuff another time. Just want to keep this video kind of short, but thanks for watching. Sorry it's been a while, but... Uh, I'm going to show you um, a few clips of what's soon to come. Peace.